Hi, my name is Gad Dano, and I am an internet survival guru. Well, we've had some very serious cold in the double digits below zero for a couple nights. Been burning a lot of coal, so I think this morning it's time to take a peek and see if we don't have some clinkers swarming. That's actually not coal, that's just so hot that it's glowing red. It's really just iron and minerals. I find when the temperatures outside aren't that uh, cold and I'm not burning that much coal and my coal fires aren't as hot, I don't get the same amount of clinkers. It really takes <clears throat> five to 600 degrees Fahrenheit to really start fusing together those clinkers and then, you know, if it's that cold that you need that much heat, you're adding more coal, which is adding ultimately when it burns out more. Uh, waste material from the coal which forms clinkers so you tend to get it in the really cold times of the year it's important to pull the clinkers out regularly before they make uh, before they clog up the airflow too much because once that happens and if it gets really cold you'll have a heck of a time trying to get your stove up to a proper temperature and it's really hard to pull them out when the fire temp in there is 350 degrees or higher and it's all full of coal and you can't exactly just reach down there and get them so the time to pull them out is in the morning when the fire is very weak. <laughs> 